it's already Wednesday, the 10th day of July, 2013. And McClatchy, I saw this a few days ago, but it's finally broken big today. And we mentioned it yesterday. McClatchy uncovers Obama's insider threat program. And the manual is all public. It says, is someone having trouble at home? Is someone asking questions? Uh, is someone taking vacations? Basically, everyone is an inside threat, but the global offshore banks that have hijacked the entire government and are overthrowing the entire Bill of Rights and Constitution. Everyone is a threat, but the actual threat. And this is what the NSA basically spends most of its time doing, is making sure that people in government, but also in private industry, aren't able to stop government narcotics trafficking operations murder teams you name it they're running it the nsa is there to protect the criminal globalists that have hijacked america and the world period i mean i told you two years ago that the stuxnet virus was launched by the people that run the u.s and israel and then now snowden has leaked those documents of course it was launched by the west against iran and of course, they're trying to use Stuxnet to pass cybersecurity that's already in place. Kind of like there's already FEMA camps, but they've reintroduced this year the Emergency Centers Establishment Act that just expands it all and has it go public. This is how they operate. So we're going to be breaking all of that down uh, here today on the main broadcast and going over it. Because even though this is old news to our audience, now people are finally ready to hear about it. And I've told my researchers and writers, go back to all the FBI bulletins of the last decade where they say talking on a cell phone, having a baby carriage, being a priest, wearing blue jeans, being rude to police, being nice to police, taking photos of anything, uh, being a vegetarian. There are hundreds of these bulletins put out a year where everyone's a terrorist. How about... Work for offshore, above-the-law banks that have diplomatic immunity that are looting country and offshoring jobs and paying $21 billion to ship General Motors to China. Uh, how about spies on the people illegally? How about has federalized police and turned them into a paramilitary force with hundreds of taser deaths a year, uh, now with the police doing proctology exams without warrants on the side of the highway? What about takes a page from every dictatorship in history and integrates it into a high-tech takeover. How about see that say something? How about tries to overthrow the Bill of Rights Constitution? How about some manuals on that? No, the manuals instead say, makes frequent references to the U.S. Constitution. That's a FBI training manual from 15 years ago. And they have more modern ones uh, that say is sweating is sweating can you imagine sweating uh, my goodness oh, oh by the way uh, it was in the new york daily news and uh, and new york post a few days ago the police came and they said look it doesn't matter if we let you into the country club and you were outside quietly on a, a patio breastfeeding with a napkin over your kid's head your your your, your six-month-old baby you could be a terrorist Oh, yes, breastfeeding is terrorism. Everything's terrorism, but black armored vehicles, black helicopters, any excuse to lock down whole cities, confiscate firearms, mega banks caught laundering hundreds of billions of dollars of drug money publicly. Nobody gets in trouble. Our government in our name killing over a million Iraqis, lying about WMDs, funding Al-Qaeda in Libya and Syria, engaged in every known crime there is. None of that's a threat, though. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's whistleblowers uh -huh, who might expose the rampant, criminal, hardcore, pervert, sicko, filthy, degenerate crew of murderous scum that run the federal government. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live. It is Wednesday. 
already the 10th day of July 2013. And a lot of what we're going to cover today, I have been covering over and over again at nauseum for a very long time. But now because it's mainstream news and we have more details, finally people may actually listen and understand what we're facing as a society. Uh, but coming up in the second hour today, I'm going to get into not the big stories that are out there about how the feds are spying on each other, but the hundreds of Communities Against Terrorism, Department of Justice, FBI flyers that are put out each year where they list pregnant women wearing blue jeans, uh, having a cell phone, uh, saying hi to the police, paying for anything including coffee with cash as a reason to call the FBI. And we're going to be going over this in detail so that you understand they want you to trust no one. Everyone is suspect. Everyone is guilty until proven slave, never innocent, except for the occupied federal government who is openly run by really four, but you can count two sub banks, but six global private banks that openly brag they've captured Europe and the United States completely and are going to end the free market and bankrupt everyone but themselves as a tool of political control. The only economy will be the mega state and the select corporations that control it. This is the open statement, the open plan of the new world order. And again, how did I know all this was coming? Ladies and gentlemen, I've studied history. I could see the common sense. Most of this was public when I first got on air 18 years ago. Uh, I then got, as the FBI would call, radicalized very quickly by actually going and, and watching federal drills and military drills where the enemy was the proto Tea Party. Role players wearing overalls and John Deere caps simply saying, we'd like freedom we don't want to have our farms taken. We don't want to turn our guns in. And they practice mowing you down. The Army and the Marines, I've made four police state films. It's all on tape. They practice mowing you down, murdering you and your family. 24-7, they're training for absolute criminal evil takeover in this country. And it's built and built and built. You know, in the old days, if they had UN troops in Louisiana to do a drill with people saying, I'm an American, you can't come to my house and take the guns. The military people videotaping that, the U.S. Army and Marines being trained would freak out and leak the video. They leaked it to the militia in 93, 94, 95, and the top general, you know, that footage is out there. Cooperative Nugget, just search it, it's out there. Clips of it are in my films. And the generals are, you are the forces of the new world order. We are bringing in global government. Ooh, rah, hoo, hoo. And you're just like, whoa, whoa. and then you come and warn people are like, that video couldn't be real. Our military isn't doing that. Russian troops, Chinese troops, Israeli troops, French troops, Dutch troops, UK troops, Australian troops, Canadian troops, Mexican troops, all on video, official operations. And let me tell you, you show up to these, and even though they're supposedly press can be there, because, it could, well, at first they were secret, but the videos would leak. Then they would put on kind of public ones. But then I would go with the citizen tour instead of the, the media tour, and then they would find me and throw me out, and that's on tape in places like Oakland, where they would let me film an interrogation of like, where'd you get the helmet? Where'd you get the gun? In San Francisco. And okay, and what, what militia are you with? And then all of a sudden they'd have the uh, Marine civilian PR guy who was really a sheet dip Marine, you know, jump out and go, Jones, get out of here. Ooh, ooh, just turning red at me. <laughs> you ain't supposed to see this. Oh, I know I'm not. Training for illegal open war with the American people. Now it's all out in the open. Now it's in Army times. Now it's in Stars and Stripes. And yeah, the Army and Marines will be armed, and they're going to be on streets near you to keep you safe from the terror threat. And it's not the it's not Al Qaeda anymore. Why they're the good guys? We're told they're, they're on active duty under the Pentagon and under NATO all over the world, just in giant mass murder operations. 
They publicly got caught in one of the cities filming how they were going to release chemical weapons a year ago. And so now it's come out in mainstream news that indeed they launched the chemical attacks and it was a false flag to blame the Syrians. Of course it was. They don't even hide this stuff. CNN, you know, will have a feed and accidentally go to the cut where the guy's going, are you ready for me to stage the shooting? And they're like, oh, hold on, we'll go back to you in a moment. <laughs> I mean, this is the stuff they do. This is how dumb they think you are. They do Sandy Hook feeds on blue screens. They did, they did that back in the first Gulf War, claiming they were in Kuwait on rooftops and in Jerusalem on rooftops and didn't even change the set. One day they're in Kuwait, same set. Next day they're in Jerusalem, same set, with a fake palm tree and a blue screen behind them. And then it's admitted it's fake. It's all a big joke on you by an occupation force. So I'm going to get into all of these flyers and some of the past articles we've written about it because now the public's ready to hear it isn't just the federal government that's got 500-page documents out we're going to be going over today and 230-page documents saying everything suspicious, trust no one, and anyone that even tries to report corruption is a terrorist. How do you think they're going to have this takeover? They arrest people that report illegal torturing and don't arrest the torturers. They arrest people that report white slavery operations, that's sex slavery, including children. They arrest people that report millions missing here or billions missing there in different federal bureaucracies. It was 2.3 trillion missing the day before September 11th. The Associated Press ran a report on that. Two trill plus missing over a decade. Gee, you think there might be a little bit of corruption going on? And just as our amazing insider, Wayne Madsen, said on this show five years ago, the NSA is there to spy on the NSA and the rest of the government. And all that we're seeing is the mainlining of the Stasi society. And I've got to hear talk show host everywhere. I monitored three different shows this morning. Actually, four different shows, technically. I monitored four different shows this morning. When I went for a jog and then when I did an errand and when I drove into work, San Antonio, Dallas, and, and then two shows in Austin. And the host were trying on all the shows to defend the government spying. And almost all the callers were calling in saying, this is a witch hunt. They're persecuting people that blow the whistle. Snowden's a hero. Uh, this is because the government's been taken over by criminal interest. This is like Soviet Russia. This is like Nazi Germany. You know, why was it bad in those countries, but why are we saying it's good? Exactly. We've never had cops, even with warrants, stick their hands inside women on the side of the road. We've never had them do it on top of it without warrants, but they just say, it's what we do now. It's what we do now. We've never had them with rubber stamp fake warrants or no warrants take blood on the side of the road, but they do it now. They're in our business. They're in our lives. I mean, I see, no exaggeration, I was thinking about it, probably five times the cops driving down the road that I saw when I was in college, twice what I saw just a few years ago. And man, they're writing tickets, they're, they're, they're pulling over the truck drivers, they're, because they're told, you get this money in, and now cops are paid like $100,000 in most cities. I mean, this, there's not going to be factory jobs, there's not going to be jobs there's going to be jobs running the takedown of America, and they're going to find people that want the power trip and who want the money. And they're coming for us, and they're not going to stop. You understand? They're, they've been training to kick in our doors and take our guns and take us to FEMA camps for a long, long, long time. And now you're just seeing the mainlining of it. But the good news is the people are waking up to this nightmare, and we've got to awaken to just how horrible we've gotten and repent as a nation for all the whitewashing and rationalizing and excuses that, that we've put up with. Oh, that's not really a baby. Well, why was it a baby before 1973 and Roe v. Wade? Why was it always considered evil before? Why was eugenics considered evil before, but now it's back in style with the trendies? Why was warrantless spying known to be evil? Why was all this known as the bad? Because 
It's always horrible. Once it starts, it gets worse and worse. Of course it's being used, as is now coming out, to blackmail members of Congress and members of Parliament in the UK. Of course it's being used. Of course the uh, cloakroom is spied on by the Justice Department, totally illegally. They spy on the Congress. They use that dirt. Of course now it's going to be a reign of terror with the mail delivery people and the bureaucrats all being spied on by political operatives above them. And you're all going to have to wear GPS on your belt. And you're all going to be called in and asked if you're loyal and that you can't be trusted. We're all going into bondage. It's going to be a living hell. They're putting this grid in place because they are on record saying they're going to artificially bankrupt everybody so that you have to go on the dole. You'll work for the government, you'll work for government contracts, or you'll be like the 101 million Americans on food assistance. 101 plus million. But it's 101 million 500 something thousand. And in five years, it'll be 200 mil. They're not going to stop. They are shutting everything down. They are shutting the factories, the coal mines, the industries. Everything will be shut down. They will shut it all down till it all goes bankrupt and they'll buy it all up for nothing and you'll lick their boots thanking them for whatever crumbs you get unless you fully awaken and admit this country's been taken over. Because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is. It's an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states. And the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, Infowars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at Infowars.com. Infowars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, Infowars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. 
I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the new world order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team. I think now listeners understand, we've been tuning in for 10, 15 years, many of you, why I get so upset. I've got children. I've decided to take on people that I know are carrying out all different forms of violence, economic, cultural, physical against us, and who enjoy it, and who everywhere they get full control generally kill about half the population. When they get control in Latin America, they get control in Africa, the globalists do. When they get control of the Middle Eastern country, they will, even when they take control non-militarily, they will shut off the electricity and shut the water off. And I just don't think the public is ready to come to grips with what you're facing here. I mean, I see them. I see the bars of the cage being built. I know who the globalists are. I've read their books. I've read their publications, I've shown them to you, I've made award-winning films warning you, and I mean, I'm here telling you folks, these are the people that wound up Hitler. These people make Adolf Alois Hitler look like a choir boy, and I mean it when I say that. And I get chills when I say that. You know, if someone kills you and takes 50 years of your life, let's say if you were 25, or someone kills you a year before you were going to die when you're 76 years old. It's still murder, isn't it? And they know what the bisphenol A does. They know what the hydrofluorosilicic acid does. They know what all of it does to you. On record, they brag about it. And it's taking, in many of the numbers that are out there, we've had medical doctors on, broke down the Harvard studies, you name it. There's a cocktail of things. 15, 20, 30 years. DU, they estimate, takes about 30 years off your life if you have moderate exposure, light exposure, 15, 20 years. But you're going to have debilitating lung problems, kidney problems, bladder problems. It precipitates out in those areas. Got the former head of the Army Pentagon DU program, physicist and doctor on, Dr. Doug Rokey, over and over again about it. And I just think about how they're murdering us. And now it's real funny to them. And the childlike public just toddles around as the evil is just rolled out and is just publicly announced and we're all under a eugenics program that's incremental and it's so hard to resist something that's incremental. I mean, I sit here intellectually, calmly knowing and studying this as they spray barium salts, aluminum dioxide and, and radioactive isotopes on us. And the Department of Energy geoengineering program is admitted is admitted, but the details are classified. And then you realize why I'm upset. And that's why they want to be able to imprison an Air Force whistleblower we have on who comes on and says, I was over toxic materials at this Air Force base, and they list the Air Force base, and there was tons of the different radioactive isotopes and other uh, things brought in exactly as the scientists have warned to be mixed with the jet fuel to be aerosolized and sprayed. That's Pulitzer surprise winning level stuff on the show with the documents and it's not even a news issue. Because, I mean, how is the mainstream media going to cover something like that? How are they going to cover uh, that most of the GMO food crops grow their own pesticide that kills lab animals that eat it and is designed to kill insects? Where the insects, most insects won't even eat 
the BT corn and the BT uh, other varieties. And I know I've got stacks of news and I go right back to that because that's what's at the heart of all of this. That, that's where all of this goes. Is this a classically authoritarian society run by criminal offshore banks that are robbing all of us publicly and, and now grabbing private accounts and not even getting in trouble all over the world, MF Global, here in the U.S. and Europe, oh, yeah, Cyprus, and it's going to get worse. When we come back, Adam Kokesh, hours after he was on the nightly news last night, in fact, he was raided right after his interview aired on the nightly news. I guess they were watching and waiting. Adam Kokesh, uh, his last interview is up on Infowars.com. It's up uh, on DrudgeReport.com, left-hand side, under the Washington Post article. and has photos that they tweeted out. and uh, They sent in two helicopters, several armored vehicles, and reportedly now over 100 federal police, including park police, over one slave daring to go into the Imperial Capitol and loading a shotgun while a bunch of foreign banks with nuclear weapons uh, are in control of the country. The image of one man with a shotgun sent them into convulsions of a tyrannical hate. And they reportedly also brutalized him. They want to show him what a little slave he is. They reportedly knocked him upside the head as well to show them this country's theirs. So roll your sleeves up and get ready for some cancer virus. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. <laughs>